This is Adi Sharma Solutions, Class 11, Chapter 28, Introduction to 3D Coordinate Geometry, Exercise is 28.3. The first question is, the vertices of the triangle are A, B, C, three points are given. The internal bisector of angle A meets B, C at D. Find the coordinates of D and the length A, D. Let me explain you the question first. This is a triangle and three uh, edge, the vertices are given now there is an internal bisector of angle bac that is angle a and this internal bisector these two angles are equal now this meets d at in bc at d so we have to find out the coordinates of d and also the ad length so how do we do this we will use the internal uh, division or sector formula. Before that, we will use the property of a triangle. See, AB, AB, AC, BC, we can find out. We know the coordinates and coordinates. So, AB, AC, and BC, we can find out. AB will be phi root 2. This is formula. So, 5 minus 1, 4. 4 minus of minus 1 means 5. And 6 minus 3, that is. 3. So, under root and square and add. Then AC also you can find out. Now, AD is the internal bisector. So, there is a property that whenever we have an internal bisector of an angle, then the point it touches on the opposite side, the ratio of that, that uh, division is equal to the ratio of the side holding the angle. That means, if I make an angle bisector here, so, these two sides, the ratio will be equal to the holding angle, that is these two sides. That is, if I just give the names here, B, C, A, so, and this uh, intersection point is D. So, B, D by D, C equals, B, D by D, C equals A, B by A, C, A, B by A, C, okay. So, same thing, sides we have just found out. So, B, D by D, C equals A, B by A, C, which is 5 by 3. A, B, A, C, 5 root 2, 3 root 2, so 5 by 3. So, now we know that B, D by D, C equals 5 by 3. So, we have a ratio of internal division. So, there is a line you can assume like this and the internal ratio is 5 to 3. That is the point divides the line B, C in internally in the ratio 5 to 3. So, the point B and C we already have 1 minus 1, 3 and 4, 3 to 5. We know that this is M is to N and you can take it as m1 is to m2. So, m is to n, which we earlier knew, knew how to do this. This is 5 is to 3. So, let me just uh, write the formula here. So, that you just remember that this x, y, z, these three coordinates of point D, how to compute it. So, x will be, if I take m1, m2 rather than, than m and n, you can take any of these because in your book it is given m1, m2. So, I am taking m1, m2. m1, x2 plus m2, x1 by m1 plus m2. So, either you take it as m or n or you take it as m1, m2. Y will be, I am just taking it as m1, m2. As I said, your book has uh, mentioned m1, m2. So, I will just go with this. So, you have m1, y2 plus m2, y1 divided by m1 plus m2. This will be your y coordinate and the z will be equal to m1 z m1 z2 plus m2 z1 by m1 plus m2 i hope you got this so m1 and m2 are known 5 and 3 that is m or n which i earlier stated m1 and m2 m1 you take it as 5 m2 you take it as 3 and now you have x1 x2 x3 as x1 x2 x1 uh, x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 so this is Point B is x1, y1, z1. Point C is x2, y2, z2. Now just apply here. So I'll just show it here 5 and 3. 5 into 4 and 3 into 1. Add them, divide by 5 plus 3. This is your x point. Then 5 into 3 and 3 into minus 1. Add them, divide by 5 plus 3. 5 into 2 and 3 into 3 divided by 5 plus 3. You have D point. So D point. The coordinates are known. This is the first part of the answer. When the D point is known, A is also known. The coordinates of A and D are known. 
So you can find out the distance between AD, AD by distance formula. 5, 4, 6 and these DE points. So the distance will be under root 1, 5, 3, 0 by 8. So now the things are clear. So we will apply directly. The point C with Z coordinates 8 lies on the line segment joining the points A, B. Find its coordinates. So the situation here is we have a line, this line and just assume everything in 3D. It's not 2D because this is a screen. I cannot show you 3D. Just assume it to be 3D. A point is uh, 2 minus 3, 4. B is given as 8, 0 and 10. 8, 0 and 10. Now we have, we have a point which is in between there whose Z coordinate is 8. I don't know about X and Y, but only if it is uh, Z is also given, I can find out the solution. So first and second I leave. I don't worry about. Then the third point is 8. It's somewhere in between A and B, the C point. So what ratio it will be? Uh, it will be lambda is to 1. So just assume it to be that this point is dividing this uh, line into lambda is to 1. Now you can assume it to be k is to 1 because earlier we, were, we have been doing k is to 1. But lambda is to 1 because it, it's a 3D, just take it as lambda is to 1. So 8 into lambda plus 2 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is the x coordinate. 0 into lambda and minus 3 into minus 3 into 1 divided by k plus 1 is the y coordinate. Then 10 into lambda, 4 into 1, add them divided by lambda plus 1 is the third point, that is the z point 8, which is given already. So now this point is already 8. So why not to equate it? So when you equate it, lambda will be 2. So lambda is there, put it in all these three points, you will get 6 minus 1 and 8. Question number 3. Show that the three points A, B, C are collinear and find the ratio in which C divides AB. A, B, C are collinear and find the ratio in which C divides AB. So the point is already given. So we have A, B and C is in between somewhere. So all, we just have to find out lambda is to 1. That is lambda is to 1, we will uh, assume it to be. So C is somewhere in between. We do not know the position. Collinear means on in the same line. They lie in the same line. Whether C is internal or external, I don't know. We don't know right now, but we'll find surely find out out. A and B point just uh, mark. C point is already given. The C point is minus 4, 1, and minus 10. So what we have to do? This is lambda in 1. So just lambda into minus 1 plus 1 into 2 divided by lambda plus 1 is the x point is equal to minus 4. And second one is 2 into lambda and 3 into 1, add them, divide by lambda plus, so this is the your second point. And minus 3 into lambda and 4 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is going to be the third point. So, you, either you use any of these lambda from one equation only, you will get lambda. So, every time you take lambda, these three equations, you will get lambda as minus 2 only. So, because previously only 8 gave us the lambda. So lambda is minus 2. But minus 2, what does it mean? It means negative. That means it's not internal division. C does not lie between A and B. It's somewhere outside. K is to 1 is or lambda is to 1 is or lambda is to 1. It is negative. That means it is external. C is not here. C is somewhere here. That is, this is A, this is B. Now this is C. So we have CA by CB, CA by CB, or you can say AC by BC equals 2 is to 1. I hope you got the idea, this 2 is to 1, but you have to add externally here because you got negative. Wherever you get negative, you have to write externally. Question number 4, find the ratio in which the line joining 2, 4, 5 and 3, 5, 4 is divided by this YZ plane. YZ plane. Remember on yz plane x is 0. In zx plane y is 0. In xy plane z is 0. So we have a and b point. We have in between a plane. And let me join this line. And this line will intersect this plane somewhere. On that intersection point, 
we are interested in. And one more thing, this YZ plane is internal or external, I don't know. We don't know. So, we have to find it out. So, this point, let us assume that it is internal. Let us say that this point is PB. So, AP by PB, what it will be? So, you know how to do this? Assume it to be lambda is to 1. If it is negative, it is external. If it is positive, it is internal. P is in, inside, some, inside somewhere A and B. So, lambda is to 1, it is dividing. Again, why is it plane means x is a 0, x coordinate is 0, whatever comes, just put x as 0. So, x, y, z we can find out, you know how to do this by the sector formula or section formula. Sorry. So, lambda 3 into lambda and uh, 2 into 1 by lambda plus 1, then 5 into lambda 4 into 1 by lambda plus 1, 4 into lambda and 5 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1, these are our 3 coordinates. But clearly given yz plane x is 0. So, put 3 and 3 is as 0, lambda will be minus 2 by 3. That is lambda is to 1 is minus 2 by 3, but it is lambda is to 1 is 2 by 3, no doubt. But the scenario here is it is negative. So, the plane is not between A and B, it is outside A and B. I hope you got the idea. A and B is here and the P point that plane is outside. This is the scenario. A and B, this plane is not in between. So, PA by PB is 2 by, is two by 3, PA by PB. Question number 5. Find the ratio in which the line joining the points 2, minus 1, uh, 3 and minus 1, 2, 1 is divided by the plane X plus Y plus Z equals 5. Now, the scenario uh, remains the same. So, we have two points. So, we have a plane here. And uh, I don't think this is a plane, I made it something else. Anyways, <laughs> so we have this uh, concept is important, right? I always say, I save myself from my handwriting and drawing by saying that concept is important. So, A and uh, B, these are the points 2, minus 1, 3, and minus 1, 2, 1. Now, it is intersecting in this plane, this is a point C. Now, the equation of the plane is given, remember. So, this uh, point C divides AB into lambda is 2, 1. So, now you can find out the point C. See, one, 2 into 1 and lambda into minus 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is your x point. Minus 1 into 1 and 2 into lambda divided by lambda plus 1 is second point. 1 into 3 and lambda into 1 into 3 and lambda into 1 divided by lambda plus 1. Now, these three points which we found out is lying on this plane because the equation of the plane is given. So, in the place of x, in the place of y, in the place of z, just replace in this equation x plus y plus z equal 5. So, when you put it here, you will get lambda. Lambda will be minus 1 by 3. This lambda minus 1 by 3, whenever you find negative, it is external. 1 is to 3, external. Question number 6. If the points A, B and C, if the points A, B, C are collinear, find the ratio in which C divides A, B. So, almost same thing we have already done. Same thing, right? So, we have A, B, C, C is in between somewhere and uh, we have coordinates of A, we have uh, coordinates of B, coordinate of C, we have to just find out lambda is to 1. So, we have 3, 2 minus 4, B is 9, 8 minus 10 and C is 5, 4 and minus 6. 5, 4 minus 6. Now, this is lambda is to 1. So, how to find it out? 9 into lambda plus 3 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is x. 8 into lambda 2 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is y point. And minus 10 into lambda plus minus 4 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is the third point. Now, just uh, equate this with 5, 4, minus 6. Every time you will get lambda is half. That is, you, you just have to take one of them. You know, lambda is going to be same everywhere, every time. So, lambda is 1 by 2. It is uh, 1 by 2, that is 1 is to 2. So, it is internal, not negative, internal. You do not have to write internal uh, specifically because it is obvious, but for if it comes negative, you have to specifically write external. This is question number 7. The midpoints of the sides of the triangle ABC are given minus 2, 3, 5, 4, minus 1, 7, and 6, 5, 3. Find the coordinates of ABC. 
So we just have to use the midpoint form. That is the section formula with midpoint uh, version. So the this is but the algebraic uh, skills it will be employed here. Otherwise, this question has uh, is quite easy because uh, this ABC is the midpoint. So let me just not take this ABC as the uh, vertices. I'll take uh, this as say D E and F. Let me take it as D E and F. So these are the vertices D E F. Okay, x one, y one, z one assume it to be. E let us take it as x two plus y two plus z two. The F point is x three, y three, and z three. So these are the point we assume, and the midpoint is known to us. Each side the midpoint is known as. A, B, C are the midpoints. So just say A is the midpoint, B is the midpoint of one of the side, C is the midpoint of one of the side. Okay, it really doesn't matter which side it is because D, E, F we have taken, X one, Y one, Z one we have taken. So it can be anywhere. The answer is going to be same. Now, now A, B, C A is minus two and three five. This C is six five three. B point is four minus one and seven. Now what you have to do? You know the midpoint. I told you the formula in the first question. M one is one. M two is one here. That is M one. See M M one x two plus M two x x one divided by M one plus M two. M one x two plus M two x one by x one plus x two. If you remember. So this m1 and m2 are equal, is one. So it will be simply x1 plus x2 by this uh, two. So x1 plus x2 by two is six. Y1 plus y2 by two is five. Z1 plus z2 by two is three. Six five three. This is how you get it, and you'll do it for each each of the edge. X2 plus x3 by two is minus two. And y two plus y three by two is three, and z two plus z three by three is five. Five. So the relationship which we are going to get is x one x two plus x three by two. So x two x three you get y two y three you get z two z three, and you have to take the midpoint of others as I just told you. The same kind of relationship means similar looking relationship you'll get. So this is for the third one. If C you take. It will be x one plus x two, y one plus y two, z one plus z two. Now how to solve this? Now you have to add all these three. Whatever you got three from three edges, just add all of them. That is, take the x one x one x coordinate. X two plus x three. I'll just do one of these. X two plus x three. From here you have x one plus x three. From third one you get x one plus x two. Equals. And now add the right hand side minus four, eight, and then twelve. So here we have twice x one, twice x two, twice x three. So let me take two outside. X one plus x two plus x three will be inside, and thus that will be equal to twenty uh, minus four. That is sixteen. Eight minus four, four. Four plus twelve is sixteen. So now you have sixteen. So You know, divided by two, it will be eight. So x one plus x two plus x three equals eight. Okay. Now we have three equations which we added. Now we'll use the them one by one. X one plus x two. Same thing you have to do with y. Y. Same thing you have to do with z. Remember, I'm not doing it, but same thing you have to do for y and z. You'll get y one plus y two, y plus y three. You'll get z one plus z two plus z three. That is first is seven. Second second will be fifty. So uh, let me stick with x right now. So x one, x two, x three added is eight. How about x one, x two, x three? How to find x one, x two, x three? So take the first equation with the last equation. That is x one plus x two plus x three equals eight. I am taking x two plus x three equals minus four. So now subtract them. So x one only will remain. Eight minus four will be four. I am subtracting these two equations. So x minus or minus four will be twelve. So now take this again x one plus x two plus x three equals eight. Now take the second equation, that is x one plus x two, x one plus x three equals eight. Now you'll get x two from here. X two is eight. 
this is x2, x2 gets cancelled, 8 minus 8 is 0. So, you have x2 as a 0. Now, x1, x2 you got, now x3. Same thing you have done. You will take the third equation, x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 8. Third equation is x1 plus x2 equals 12. So, here you will get x3. Just subtract this. So, x3 will be 8 minus 12, that is minus 4. So, you have x1, x2, x3. In this same manner, you have to find y1, y2, y3 and z1, z2, z3. These three coordinates will come. I hope you got the idea. So, question number 8. Now, this question and the question number 1 is almost similar. So, A, B, C has a vertices of a triangle. A, B, C. Find the point in which the bisector of angle B, A, C meets B, C. Why we have already done this. The concept is we have the internal bisector of angle A, which is B, A, C angle. And this internal bisector line, which is AD, intersect the opposite side, which is BC at D. So, we have to find out the point D, this point D. So, first of all, as I told you, you can find out BD is to DC. What is that ratio? So, we know that BD by DC equals AB by AC, the, the side holding the angle the, and the side, the points or the parts which is opposite to that angle, which is being bisected. So, basically BD by DC will be equal to AB by AC that is 3 is to 1. So, 3 is to 1. Now, this is 3, this is 7. Now, just take the points because you know this is a ratio. So, X, Y, Z you can find out. So, X will be 0 into 7 plus minus 1 into 3 divided by 2. This is your X point. Then minus 1 into 3 and 4 into 7 divided by 3 plus 7 second point. Minus 3 into 3 plus 7 into 1 divided by 3 plus 7 equals third point. So, this is your points. Okay. Now, this is question number 9. Find the ratio in which the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equals 504 divides the line joining the points 12 minus 4, 8 and 27 minus 9, 18. So, what is given here? First of all, we have a line and there is a sphere. So, just assume that this one of the point of this line is inside the sphere, one is outside. That is, when you, when, when you have a line, there will be a point which is intersecting with the sphere, which is intersecting with the sphere. And that intersection of the sphere or that point where the line intersects the sphere divides the line into certain ratio. That is, this is the sphere. Now, here is some uh, intersection point. Now, this point, let us take it as x1, y1, z1. And this x1, z1, y1, z1 is going to lie on this sphere also. So, just put x1, y1, z1 in the equation of the sphere. So, this is x1 square, y1 square, z1 square equals 504. Now, this point is also intersecting or you can say is somewhere in between dividing this line into lambda is 2 1. So, these are the two points just note these points. So, x 1 will be what? Just assume that it is dividing into lambda is 2 1. So, it will be 20, 27 into lambda plus 12 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is going to be x 1 x 1. y 1 is minus 4 into 1 plus 9 and minus 9 into lambda by lambda plus 1. This is y 1 z 1 is 8 into 1 plus 18 into lambda by lambda plus 1. These are three points. Now, what we will do x1 in place of just replace x1, y1, z1 in the original equation, which is x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square. So, here you will see that when you solve it for lambda, you are going to get two values plus minus 2 by 3, two values. So, one time it will be 2 by 3, one time it will be minus 2 by 3. So, there are two answers there will be two answers here. So, it is dividing this point is externally also dividing and internally also dividing both ways 2 is to 3 and minus so 2 by 3 is minus 2 by 3 both the answers you are going to write here. Now, x1, y1, z1 can be found out but it is not being asked. It is not been asked here. So, we will not uh, bother about it. Otherwise, the line, the points can also be found out because lambda is known. But lambda, one time we will use 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 if ever this kind of question comes. Okay, sphere, 
just put this x1 y1 z1 in the equation of sphere find out the section formula then replace x1 y1 z1 by the section formula values and solve for lambda 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 will come this is question number 10 show that the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0 divides the line joining the points x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 in the ratio there is a ratio being given so same thing we are going to do here we'll have a line and then we'll have a plane in between we don't know where it is but it is negative so the ratio is outside means it's dividing externally so we have x1 y1 z1 we have x2 y2 z2 here and this point let us say that this is x y z so the ratio we have to find out that is lambda we have to find out lambda is to 1 so just assume it to be x y z and this x y z can be computed because lambda and 1 you can assume and x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 corresponding points are given so x you know how to do this x y z can be computed now this these three points which uh, we have got from the section formula we will put it in this uh, plane equation equation of the plane in place of x y z we are going to replace these three so when we put in here and when we solve it for lambda it will be negative of ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d divided by ax2 plus by2 plus cz2 plus d so this will be the ratio and this is negative please remember this is negative so externally it is dividing externally let me tell you again there is a point on this plane x y z assume find it out using the section formula and then put it in the equation of the actual plane and then find it for lambda so question number 11 find the centroid of the triangle midpoints of whose sides are these three so this type of question we have already done and uh, this is question number question number was 7 question number 7 exactly like this so same concept we are going to adopt here so the centroid we have the uh, centroid you relate it with the median okay so centroid the formula is simply x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 likewise y and z so x1 plus x2 plus x3 if you can uh, if you can get corresponding y and z then you can find out the easily the point so these are the midpoints being given so i am writing the midpoints it's 1 2 minus 3 3 0 1 and minus 1 1 minus 4 now let us take this as so this point this is this has d this has e and this is f that is uh, the vertices also we can be given the name so the bc the midpoint can be d for ca the midpoint can be e and for ab the midpoint can be f so you can name it abc as the edge vertices and the midpoint as def def so now if the d is the midpoint what will be these points so let us take this point also x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 now we know the section formula that is the midpoint formula because we already know the midpoints so x1 plus x2 by 2 is minus 1 y1 plus y2 by 2 is 1 z1 plus z2 by 2 is minus 4 similarly x2 plus x3 by uh, by 2 is 1 y2 plus uh, y3 by 2 is 2 and z2 plus z3 by 2 is minus 3 then x x1 plus x3 by 2 is 3 y1 plus y3 by 2 is 0 and z1 plus z3 by 2 is 1 right same thing what we have done in the earlier question so what you have to do there will be three equations three corresponding equations three equations so in all we will have three these are nine equations okay nine equations so if you take x x x add them y y y add them z z z add them so you will get twice of as we have done in the seventh question so x1 plus x2 plus x3 will be 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by will be 3 and z1 plus z2 plus z3 will be minus 6 now the these coordinate of centroid will be simply x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 similarly for y and z 
but we already have x1 plus x2 plus x3. So just divide it by 3. So you will get 1. Similarly, y plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 is 3. Divide by 3. That is 1. Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 by 3 equals minus 6 by 3. That is minus 2. 1, 1, minus 2 will be the final answer. Now, this is question number 12. The centroid of a triangle ABC is at the point 1, 1, 1. If the coordinates of A and B are 3, minus 5 and 7 and minus 1, 7 and minus 6, respectively, find the coordinates of the point C. So, this is the triangle and we know that x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 is 1 as done in the previous question. y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 is 1. z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 is 1. If x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3 are the vertices. So, 2 are given. So, assume it to be third one to be x, y, z. 2 points are given. That is 3 minus 5, 7 and minus 1, 7, minus 6 is given. We are assuming x, y, z is the third one. So, as I told you, just take the formula of centroid and just equate it with 1 all the time. So, C is 1, 1, 2. This is question number 13. Now, let me tell you this is the NCRT question. So, let me just take you back. This is a, this is a NCRT question. NCRT. So, let me tell you, you know, I just need to add because this is a NCRT question. So, x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 is equal to 1. x1, x2 is known. Y, y, this x3 we have assumed to be x. y1 plus y2 plus y3 equals 1. y1, y2 is known. y3 we have assumed to be y. z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 is 1. z1, z2 is known. z3 is not known. We have assumed it to be z. So, when we have Two, uh, this two coordinates, third co coordinate can be find out because the centroid is given already 1, 1, 1. So, x, y, z we can found out. This is question number 30 now. This is also a uh, NCRT question. Here it is given. Find the coordinates of the point which trisect the line segment joining the points 4, 2, minus 6 and 10, minus 16, 6. Trisect. What does it mean? Trisecting means dividing the line into two parts. So, trisect that is you are going to find out two points here. Trisection is given. So, this is the, this is the, these are the two points, you know, three, three parts you have divided. So, first time you have to find out 1 is to 2, second time you have to find out 2 is to 1. 1 is to 2, and 2 is to 1. These, there will be these two points we are going to, we are interested in. So, see here we have 4, 2, minus 6 as the first point and then 10, minus 16, 6 as the second point and in order to get this point, you will take 1 and 2. So, m1 is 1, m2 is 2. So, you have the second one. When you take the second one, it will be 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1, okay. So, I, I, I hope you, are, you will be able to find out the first point, m1, m2 is 1 and 2, second time you will have m1 and m2 as 2 is to 1. So, let us take 1 is to 2, so 4 into 2 plus 10 into 1 divided by 1 plus 2, like this x point and similarly y and z point. Now, second time, second point I am coming, now I am just changing it, now it will be 2 is to 1. It will be 2, this is 1 is to 2 earlier, but now here it will be 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1. So, this m1 and m2 will be, will change, it will be 2 is to 1. Same points, points remain the same. Now, only m1 and m2, that is m and n we were using, it will be, it will change. So, you have 2 is to 1, same formula you are going to apply. So, you will get 6 minus 4, 2 and 8 minus 10, 2. So, first time you have to take 1 is to 2, second time you have to take 2 is to 1. This is question number 14. Using the section formula, show that the points, these three points are given, they are collinear. So, this is also NCRT question. What does it mean when we say collinear? These are in the same line. So, if we assume that A and B are the end point and C is somewhere in between or somewhere here, somewhere uh, in lying here. So, what do we get? If we can find out some lambda, legitimate lambda, then we can say that C is lying on this line. So, you have 2 minus 3, 4, 
and b is b is given as minus 1 2 and 1 so what do you get for c we already have it actually we already have it we have to we have to get a legal lambda either negative or positive then we can say this this c is actually dividing a b in certain ratio lambda is to 1 so lambda into minus 1 plus 1 into 2 divided by lambda plus 1 is 0 then lambda into 2 plus 1 into minus 3 divided by lambda plus 1 is this one 1 by 3 then 1 into 4 1 into lambda plus 4 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is going to be 2 okay so you don't need three equations just one equation will give you lambda equals 2 and that lambda 2 is a legitimate value of lambda that is, it is dividing it into 2 is to 1 part so you can assume you can say that c is in 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 here means lying on the line which is joining a and b question number 15 this is also a ncert question now uh, you know many students says that uh, rs agarwal they point out at rs agarwal but uh, the thing is uh, i've already you know done this ncert and this rd sharma i'm doing so i think that most of the questions are covered in the rd sharma even the ncert questions are all covered so it's better that uh, we do rd sharma rather than going for rs agarwal rs agarwal has not that much variety of questions now coming to the question these are the three points a collinear find the ratio in which q divides pr so this is the reverse of question number 14 so we have 3 2 minus 4 and then we have this as 9 8 minus 10 and the third point in between somewhere and which is this is p and r let's assume it to be q in between so that is 5 4 and minus 6 so lambda is to 1 just assume it to be lambda is to 1 and then do the same thing which we did in the previous question so we don't need three equations actually so 9 into lambda plus 3 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is going to be 5 similarly 8 into lambda plus 3 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 2 into 1 plus lambda by divided by plus 1 is the uh, 4 so you can take any one of these you know so lambda will come as 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 will come so it is dividing into 1 is to 2 but you have to write because you are doing the question you have to write all the three points question number 16 this is also an ncrt question now these questions we have already done if you see in the exercise all the question we have uh, already done by the ratio in which the line joining segment joining the points 4 8 10 6 10 mi minus 8 is divided by the yz plane yz plane so exactly same question we have done already so what we will do here is you just remember that this is a plane so fourth question we have already done a fourth question exactly like this so we have 4 8 10 and 6 8 6 10 minus 8 this is yz plane you know yz plane x is equal to 0 x is 0 so 6 into lambda plus 4 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 then 10 into lambda plus 8 by 8 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 and minus 8 into lambda plus 10 into 1 divided by lambda plus 1 is these are the three points now you have to put x is equal to 0 just put x equal to 0 so lambda will be minus 2 by 3 that is it is dividing in the ratio 2 by 3 which is externally dividing because of the negative sign okay so this is all about this exercise thank you so much take care of yourself